All right, you convinced me. But if you want to go look for that handle thing with me, I've got to help you up the stairs. And you have to promise to stay clear of all the railings, okay? There was a brand new padlock on the door when I was there yesterday, but I found a window I could fit through. That's not gonna work for you with your cast and everything. So I have an idea. My dad has all kinds of crazy stuff in the tool shed because of the volunteer firefighting. So I was thinking this will do the trick. I'm taking the camera, but we're not shooting film. I want the footage saved online in case, you know, anything happens to us. It's going to compress automatically and it'll upload as we record. So it's kind of like a webcam. The quality isn't as good and there's a four or five second delay, but it can't be erased. The footage feeds and writes to a file online and I built in some security prompts. So if I don't respond to the prompts by 8 a.m., my computer will automatically send a message to Frank at the newspaper, the sheriff's office, and my dad's cell phone. The message has the link and the password. They'll be able to watch, so at least they'll find our bodies. It's 10.45. My parents should be in bed soon. I'll send you an email at 12.30 to let you know we're still a go. And let them meet at one instead of 1.45, just in case someone read your email. You never know. I'll be at the corner where the alley meets 2nd Street. I'm really excited to see you, and don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. And yes, I'm really glad that I'm not going by myself this time. <sighs> okay, let's try to get some rest. I'll see you soon.